Hello, Possum Dreamer Smith here in Alphacraft. And you can see where I am. I'm in our lumberyard sawmill space. And I've started doing a little bit of uh, what, decorating. Mm, it's not very decorative, is it? But you know what I mean. So I've replaced all the grass with coarse dirt and then in the main traffic part of the yard with a mixture of stone, andesite, cobble, gravel and bits of coarse dirt. And I have started putting in uh, some props, I suppose. We've got some logs here, so jungle and spruce, and they're tied down. Over here we've got an old oak log, um, mainly because I needed a light in this corner and I couldn't work out where else to plonk a lamp down. <laughs> but we've got to make this look like it's a working sawmill and lumberyard. So we need stuff to cut logs with. We need storage for our actual wood. That's what this is for, manual storage. And we need cut planks and things. So I'm going to go with barrels for storage because I've come up with a really neat trick and I want to show it to you. So we may as well start with barrels first. So I'm just popping ordinary dirt in the corner because where I can't access a barrel, I don't see the point of wasting a barrel. So we've got barrel. That one can just go like that. Now with barrels, see we've got this obvious top. It's got the little circle on it. If I open it and then close it, you can see it's dark for a fraction. But here's the thing about barrels. Look at this. Doesn't matter what you touch it opens and you'll be saying yeah we know that we know that it's not like chests you can put anything on it but <laughs> watch this watch this and pop that there I'm gonna crouch and I'm gonna place the barrel so that it looks like a crate look at that and I can still get into it. So let's put some barrels down. Uh, let's put some crates down, I mean. Yeah, use your shovel. And uh, I want one there, so crouch. And did that work? Yes. <laughs> so instead of having a stack of barrels in the corner, I've got a stack of crates in the corner. <laughs> okay, that's going to be for our wood storage. All the logs, doors, stairs, slabs, whatever, they're going to go into groups of crates. And I think, uh, I'll see which one I make that, I'm not sure yet. Um, we want workbenches. So, you know me, if I can use a trapdoor, There we are, perfect workbench. Good old crafting table. I think we can do with some more of those. Um, let's have a look. We'll put one, two, three, and four. Um, Go with another crafting table. I've got one in my inventory. Um, another workbench. Um, we might make this one a little longer. Uh, do I want a crafting table in that or do I want to leave it as it is? I think we'll think about it. Okay, let's put some more. Let's, 
Oh, do I want to put barrels in yet? I don't want to go putting item frames and signs and whatever up here. I want you to be able to tell what's in the crates by what's nearby. So in that regard, yeah, let's do some more crates. One there. Put no, that's my fault. That's better. So you've got to not just crouch but get really close to it too. Uh, what do we put out the front? Did that work? Yes, that worked. Uh, oh, this will be fun. I want to put one round. Can I do it? Yes, I can. And I want one there. Okay. This is all about hiding the barrel fronts and having the bottoms showing. If we can show that bottom planked side, I'm happy. Okay, I think we'll put some more. Yeah, that leaves us room to put some stuff here and some stuff here. So this one next. That's not bad. They all look like crates. That's pretty good. Okay, let's start putting in some lumber. Uh, we'll start with birch because, right, that's going to be oak. There's not going to be any oak lumber because it'll all just get lost with this. This one's going to be for birch, so we want the birch planks to be quite close to it. Oh, and by the way, these torches, they're spots that had a light level of seven so I've got them there to remind me that I need to put some form of lighting in in those spots okay so uh, we'll start with these and we'll start there I think and and we'll put some slabs down I think that's enough. I don't think I have to go get any more. I think that's sufficient. Yeah, okay. So that's for birch storage. Well, that's our birch planks cut and being kept undercover waiting for pickup or use. And our birch storage will be there. So I think, right. Oak, birch, spruce. They're probably the ones I use the most. So I'll make them most easily accessible. So I've got to put some spruce plankage here. Okay, that's that's not bad. Uh, we'll do some more. Oh, we'll do another set of crates in the corner, I think. Uh, I think we'll have two this time. Yes. A right, little bit of fussing around, but I think it's worth it. So that'll be uh, what? Acacia storage? Uh, what are we going to do? Now, here's the thing. These plank lines, like this, they run east to west. That's why I think I'll make these short. But that looks like a pallet. Let's have a look at that. 
Uh, I want more than that. Hang on. I've got everything that needs to be stored here. Let's take some more. That's better. And no, no, and use the shovel. No, I've got the extra one. Let's do it. Okay, so that's our acacia storage. Uh, we'll have jungle and dark oak. So, dark oak here. Uh, barrels first, I think. Yeah, haha, <laughs> I was able to use this to just place it the way I want. Yes. Let's have a look at that. There's basically five barrels for each. And I'll show you why when we stock them. There we go. That's that's all our wood storage in. And that's all our wood indicators. So spruce is there. Acacia is there. Dark oak. And jungle. So that's the lumber yard part done. Now we need to make it look like a sawmill. So for that we're going to need a saw. It sort of stands to reason. So I think we'll put it Oh, right way round first time. Yes. Um Let's have a look. Can I do that? Two, three. That's okay. And I think we'll put some planks on being cut. What do you think? Or have a look what we've got over here. I've got one. So we can go with that where it's coming over the saw and being cut into planks. Or we can do that. I don't know. I'm inclined To do that but I'm not sure can you guys help me out can you let me know in the comments which way you prefer with the stripped or the planks hmm. okay now that's the sawmill let's take care of these lights I think we might do some saw horses. And put a lantern on top of the saw horse. That's not bad. Yeah, I quite like that. Uh, we'll do another one here. Um, so Oak trap doors for the legs. Got to remember to put it on on that half. Spruce trap doors for the top and a lantern. Yep. I'm running out of dirt. Although I could have just used that. Oh, and I think we will put, we will remember to stand close and we will put 
a random crate in the yard. And on top of that random crate is a lamp. That's okay. We need sawdust. If we've got this going, we need sawdust. And the perfect thing for sawdust is probably sand. So it would sort of be under here and along here uh, I'll dig some out and have a play and we'll see how it looks uh, that's not too bad it's it's one of those things that once you start it's hard to stop and oh, I wish, I wish we had sand layers. If I could bank up some sawdust around this or against this or there, I'd be so happy. Oh, do we need some there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but other than that... I think we've got it. Oh, if you can hear my cat snoring in the background, my apologies. Uh, all I've got to do now is get everything in. So we'll start with oak. General logs in there. Stripped logs there. Planks there. Oh, strip logs and pressure plates. Um, stairs and planks there. Doors and trap doors in that one. Yeah. So that's the basic pattern I'm going to follow. I'll just get all of these done and then we'll be finished. That's it. It's all done. Everything is, oh, that one's, everything is in and sorted. That's it. I think that's it. I'm still not sure about sawdust under that one. I've got to think about it, but that's now a lumber yard and a sawmill. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Still don't know what to do with that not too worried. I'll get round to it. But this is done. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Hopefully you did too. And if you did, you know what to do. Whack the like button, subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell, select all, turn notifications on. And I'll see you next time. Bye!